Hello everyone, Chris here with No Strings Gaming and uh, I'm giving you guys your weekly video game update. That's right, it is Platinum News. Uh, this is where I go over the week in video games, let you know what happened, let you know what's going to happen, let you know everything. Uh, not everything, but all the important stuff. Uh, we're going to get right into this. This is for the week ending in April 14th. Uh, some exciting stuff happened. Let's dive in. Uh, Shenmue 1 and 2 has been announced for a re-release on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is not a remaster. It's just simply a re-release. Um, Shenmue 3 is only coming out to PS4. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're wanting to play 1 and 2 and you only have an Xbox One. Uh, you're going to get all hooked and then not be able to play Shenmue 3. So, uh, yeah. Um, Xbox One has announced uh, 19 classics, uh, Xbox classic games. That's weird. Uh, Xbox classic games are going to be coming out this month. Some include Conker's Alive and Reloaded, uh, Jade Empire. I think another one was Elder Squirrels Morrowind, maybe? I think. Uh, the PS4 is currently having a flash sale. If you're not familiar with flash sales, it's where they give away games for super cheap, especially if you're a member of PlayStation Plus. This time, it's a Friday the 13th kind of sale. Um, they're giving away a bunch of horror games like Evil Within 2, um, stuff like that. So uh, check that out. You can get some cheap horror games. Um, the Switch has... Uh, they announced that Minecraft on the Switch is going to be having an achievement system. Uh, you're going to be able to get the... Uh, achievements from Microsoft. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, pretty exciting. Um, Sega has announced that they are going to be releasing some of their classic games on the Switch. This includes games like Fantasy Star. Yeah, it was Fantasy Star back then. Uh, so Fantasy Star stuff like that will be coming out to Switch. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, Spider-Man, they announced another new costume for the Spider-Man PS4 game. It is the Spider-Man Infinity War costume, you know, that cool-looking Iron Man costume that he gets. Uh, yeah, you can get that as a pre-order bonus. Uh, Mega Man X Collection has been announced. It's going to have all eight games included in it, and it comes out this summer, I believe. Uh, PlayStation 5 has been teased. Um, apparently, it's coming out, uh, they're saying, in 2020. Um they have already sent developer kits to certain uh, certain companies and developers, um, but I guess it's like a behind closed doors kind of thing. They won't, uh, only certain people have access to the system, uh, so it's really hush-hush right now. Um, and they're saying it's a full update, so it's not going to be like the PlayStation, uh, or the, I almost said the PlayStation 1, the uh the PlayStation Pro, it's not going to be like that. This one won't, uh, I don't know if it's going to be backwards compatible or anything, but it's not going to be like a PS4 type games. It's going to be PS5 pretty much, if that's what they call it, which they're probably going to. Uh, also, uh, EA has announced their time slot for E3. It's going to be Saturday, June 9th um, at 11 a.m. Pacific time. That's 12 o'clock Mountain Time, 1 o'clock Central and 2 o'clock Eastern. There you go. You don't have to do any uh, adding. So uh, you're welcome. Uh, they said they're going to have some big announcements, some big reveals. Uh, lots of microtransactions, guys. Yeah. Nah, uh, they're going to have some cool stuff, supposedly. So check that out. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 had to remove some songs. So some songs have been released from Grand Theft Auto 4. And I dropped my notes. Uh, they were uh, removed from Grand Theft Auto 4, and they uh, they did replace it. So check it out if you liked that one, and you might get some new songs if you want to. Um, also, they have teased that 2K is currently working on a new Bioshock game. It's exciting. We're all happy. Uh, hip, hip, hooray. Bioshock. Uh, and that brings me into Game Talk, guys. Uh, this is where I kind of talk about a game, um, let you know my thoughts, and we, we kind of just discuss video games uh, for like a minute or so. So uh, this week, in dedication of God of War, I'm going to talk God of War with you guys. Uh, so God of War is coming out on PS4 on Friday, April 20th, and um, I'm super stoked. Been a huge fan of the series. Uh, I've played, you know, the PS... Ooh, almost dropped my phone. <laughs> 
played the PSP titles, you know, the prequel that wasn't very good, um, all the God of War. So very excited with this. And me, and my, uh, me and my friend, uh, Cooper, the King, he's part of the channel too. Uh, we were talking about, um, the game. He was like, Oh, I think it's not going to be as good. as God of War three, you know, naughty dog, or he didn't say naughty dog, but he was like companies. They don't really push, put out sequels that are that good. And, uh, naughty dog, you know, me and him got into that talk. I'm like, naughty dog does a really good job with sequels. You know, uncharted four was pretty much one of the best uncharted games in the series. Uh, I mean, fantastic. Uh, Last of Us Part Two is going to be probably fantastic. And this God of War, uh, that's Sony Santa Monica. Um, but yeah, we were talking about uh, Sony. I don't know why I thought it was Naughty Dog for a second. Uh, yeah, we we were talking about that's why, because he was like, uh, uh, sequels are never good. And uh, I was like, well, you know, Last of Us 2 is probably going to be great. And he was like, no, no, that's not possible. Um, and so then we got into the talk about how Naughty Dog always pushes out really good content. And then... Uh, you know, Sony Santa Monica, they do a pretty good job, too, because God of War 3 was fucking fantastic. Um, I mean, that was a great game. And, you know, I, I really feel this game's going to be dope. Like, I'm so excited for this game. I'm going to be streaming it, guys. I just got a capture card, uh, so I'm going to be streaming it on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Maybe even Mixer. I don't know yet. Probably not. I'm not a huge fan of Mixer so far from what I've used. Uh, uh, oh, you didn't see that. Down, down arrow. Uh yeah, so um, I'm excited for that. I, I definitely want to play it, and uh, I'll probably be streaming on both. Uh, expect to see me Thursday at 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That's when I'm going to start streaming. Shortly after that, I'll have, to, not, I'll have to get home and everything, so uh, probably like 10.30 or something like that. Um, but I'm definitely going to be playing, guys, so check that out. Um, now we're going to get on to the games for the next week. Uh, these are the games that are coming out. First off, we have Yakuza 6 Song of Life that comes out. If you haven't checked it out, there is a free demo available in the PlayStation Store. It's pretty much the full game. So if you want to play it, um, you get to play the prologue. And you can just unlock it. And uh, from there, you just purchase it, unlock it, and you already have the game downloaded. So uh, that's pretty cool. Check it out. Uh, God of War comes out. God of War. Uh, that comes out on the 20th. Also on the 20th, Nintendo Labo, fin Labo finally comes out. Uh, so we get our impressions of that. We get to see what it's like. Uh, we get to build cardboard boxes and just have fun, guys. So, uh, yeah, that comes out on the 20th as well. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, and let me know if you want to talk out of war anything. I'll, I'll talk video games all day. Uh, if you want to talk out uh, about how I messed up Sony Santa Monica and Naughty Dog for a minute. I mean, go for it. Uh, that was my, my bad, my, my fault. Uh, but yeah, um, let me know anything in the comments. We'll, we'll talk and, uh, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next week on the next episode of Platinum News. This is Chris with No Strings Gaming and, uh, that's about it for me. Goodbye.